Quinlet Stanford's. Is that is that a is that the pronunciation? Combination of the the, the names of our children. Uh, our son is is named Quinton, and and our daughter is named Lente, and Lente is Dutch for spring. Oh, I got you. And, and that, that 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 together makes the name. Yeah. Right. 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 Now I was reaching out because I I was checking out your dogs, and I I just couldn't help but to see you know the quality. I mean, I know quality. I've been around. Uh, pit bull terriers for uh, about 30 years you know i just uh jumped a hurdle you know past my 40s you know not too too long ago so um you know i know i know quality when i see it and and i was very intrigued by what you were doing and i had to know more i had to ask more so i'm gonna just give you the floor you just kind of let us know a little bit more about your program and uh you know where you plan on going um uh our son he uh he is into uh into pit bulls um there's there's, there's a little difference there um, um i've i've often i've often heard that that my my my, my staffies uh my, my staff at boot areas are a little bit to, towards the pit bull side but um uh, I, I always said well, when, when, when functionality is what functionality does, uh, you, you need to keep close to that, even even, even though you have a different breed. And like I say, it's, it's an entirely, it, it's gone through an entirely different specialization than, than the staff has done uh, in, in its makeup. And uh, the, 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 the dogs that I breed, I compete with them uh, uh, in, 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 in uh, uh, in, in, in dog sports competitions and uh, my, my dogs do well uh, I, I always I always uh, stand on the field fearless I always know that they will give they will give their heart they will they will go for it uh, months of, 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 of thinking uh, how I'm gonna do this what are the wrongs what are the things you want to move what is what you for sure want to maintain maintenance when you're on a certain level the, 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 the most difficult part is not to change but to maintain and and that that's that's a thing that a lot of breeders uh struggle over over the years is when when, when they get involved and they say that they, they want to change and they, then they say i want to i want to change and then i'm going to call that uh, breed development but but that's not necessarily this it's changing changing doesn't necessarily mean breed development when you are on a certain level of, of performing dogs you, you the, the maintenance to, to me has proven to be the hardest part uh, especially because sometimes you depend on on, on different people with, with different dogs, and if they do not live up to your expectations or the things that you want to do, uh, before knowing it, you're, you're you're stepping ten years back in time. It's it's uh, it's been a journey over the past thirty five years, really. Yeah, thirty five years. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. It's, it's, it's founded in nineteen eighty eight. Um, uh, we breed Staffordshire Bull Terriers and, and these days uh, also pit Bull Terriers for a dog sport competition. For the, for the breed, uh, the Dutch Stafford Athletics, which is um, uh, a pentathlon. No, not a pentathlon. How do you call that when you, when you do 10 different disciplines? Uh, decathlon, I think you call it. Um, uh, it's ten different disciplines, including a, a, a ten mile a ten mile race that, that needs to be covered as fast as possible. Uh, it's it's long jumping, high jumping, tug of war, hang, hang time, um, uh, sprints, uh, drag pool, stuff like that. That's 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 what we do with our dogs, and and we do that to to to, to develop the dogs and, and to, to to get to get to to a level of better dogs at any time. We calculate that. We have an app. Uh, the, the app uh, registers all the scores, and, uh, and 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 we go we go on from that, and we try to to improve each generation after a generation. And that's 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 what we do. Um, when, when I started it, uh, it was just me, and I remember my wife said to me, "So, so Mark, why would you ever do something?" And I said, "Well, darling, if if I, if I can motivate one person to be active uh, with the dogs, uh, it would be worth it to me, you know. That's 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 the the, the, the humble position that I'm still in today. I, I don't I don't I don't want anything else, and I don't want anything bigger. Um, 
we 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 ended up in 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 a, in a competition field scattered over 24 countries. Uh, I I happened to to motivate people uh, from Brazil to 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 Russia, to Finland, to uh, to Norway, Denmark, Italy, France, uh, to, to 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 follow the things that we do. So. Um, uh, it, it's 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 been a bit big, actually. It's uh, never meant to be. Never meant to be. I, I'm I'm still always happy that that if people come along. You in, in next Easter we have we have the I think it's the 16th or 15th or 16th DSA. Uh, it's a, it's a tournament uh, and people 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 travel 1600 to to to, to 1700 kilometers uh, to participate. Uh, as as a a guy that started this uh, from the perspective saying oh, if, if I if I can motivate one person to to have an active lifestyle with these dogs I would be happy this is it's, it's, uh, it has become an, a, a major success from my from my from my point of view from where I stand yeah are you are you familiar with 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 the the, the uh, with the athletics with the, with the all round athletics we do in Europe. I've been trying to get more familiar. Like the, you went down the list of a bunch of them that you did. And one of them that I was planning on getting real familiar with was the wall climb. Yeah, and this I dude about people's look. Yeah. About, okay, so not only not only do I want to know how to prepare a dog for something like that, as far as you know, when it's young, the stuff that you want to be doing with it to get it to to do uh to jump the wall like that but uh what are some of the things that you're looking for when you're breeding your animals to ensure that you get the best quality dogs to to be able to handle these events like treadmill races and and stuff like that yeah the 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 the, the wall climb and the treadmill races are very popular uh also at ADBA uh, events in in the states and and, and we, see, yeah. we see we see them here we see them here also right uh, the, the the selection of the dogs it's, it's it's basically basically it's the same as when when you when you back in the day when you put them in a box right uh, you 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 breed when it's a winner on a certain discipline and 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 and, and you move on um in in breeds and that, that that's and that's there's a very big difference in between pit bulls uh in generally, you you have you have pit bulls in generally, in general, and yeah, and you have a breed like a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. When you breed a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, uh, it it has to uh, it has to fit in the parameters of the breed. And um, with 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 pit bulls, the, the the margins of the parameters are are a lot bigger than they are with Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So um, uh, on pit bulls, there's a lot a lot more. Well, for for, for from a breeding perspective, it's it's a lot more interesting to see. Where, where can you get the 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 absolute athlete? Where where in Staffords you have the boundaries of the breed saying, well, it doesn't matter how good the athlete is. This is the boundary of the breed. You 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 can't you can't get across this, uh, and and that's that's a, that's a big difference. It's it's like when 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 you're into 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 pit bulls or you're into Staffords or you're into working dogs or whatever. It's it's always about which dog does best. And and I, I often have this conversation with a lot of people involved involving dogs. Is is the, the best dog in my opinion is not the dog that jumps the highest, but it's the one that tries the best. And that's that's what our breed is about. Right. You know, and it doesn't matter if you, if you if you have a pit bull or you have a staff It's not, we, we we do not. It's it's about about the heart they put in that we want to see. It's not definitely necessarily something that we say. Uh, um, uh, for instance, if 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 a dog is very fast and he can jump, he, he, he can sprint really really fast, but he doesn't have the attitude to do it. Uh, in from from the perspective of the brew breeds, uh, rather than pit bull staff, for example, staff it doesn't really matter. We should say that's not what we want. It doesn't matter how fast it is if it doesn't if it doesn't have have the the the, the guts and the and the heart to perform to his maximum, then that's what we do not want. So it's it's for me. It's I never look at the clock. I always I always look at the dog racing, and I always want to see is how is he doing, and I always I always look at the dog when I, when I put him on a ten mile. I, I don't care how fast he is, uh, when he is uh, when he's fresh and fit at the start. I look at him how we how he pursues when when it, his body starts to hurt, when you when you when you're reaching at uh, seven seven miles, and and uh, you you've, you've done. Uh, the past uh, seven miles you've done you've done already with with 
30 kilometers an hour. I, 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 it's too much for my head. It's, it's, um, uh, <laughs> I got a lot of music all, all of a sudden. Are you good, uh, brother? When, when, uh, when, when they, 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 hit, they hit the wall, that's where it becomes interesting for people in bull breeds. It's, it's not, it's not the, 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 the end time that's satisfying the most. The most satisfying is, is to say, okay, for instance, a dog, a dog hits the wall at, 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 at six miles, but he pushes through on his character and, and, and he doesn't slow down. And you see how hard he has it and he still keeps on going. That's what we're after in bull breeds. We're not after, we're not after the fastest time. We're after the dog that gives it the, the, the most heart. That's, that's basically the, the, the core of everything that we do. And, um, um, a, a lot of people uh, in in sports, and it's, it's the same when you when you when you take the the, the wall climb or you take the, you you take all these other stuff. The, the people are looking at the results, but the results are not the most important in bull breeds. In bull breeds, is the most important is how many how much heart they put in, how, how much how much um, uh, how tough they are. Yeah, when it becomes comes when it becomes tough on them, how do they act? Do, do do they, you know, do, do they fall the apart? Do, yeah, they, are they resilient? Are they, can they push through yeah. the pain that they're having? Can they push through everything that they suffer at that moment just to get the job done together with you? And that's 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 what these dogs are about. And that's that uh, I'm doing this for 35 years, and it, it it didn't bore me for one for one day. It's always exciting to see, and as and every time we have a new dog, you see, it's it's, it's a new exploration. Saying how how will he or she do? uh in in the task uh, we 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 uh we lay out for them you know that's that's it's, it's fantastic and then you measure up and then and then we say okay we, we what we want and when we want our dogs and we we want to prepare our dogs for the things that we do we say okay uh we we need to get the best heart and and the 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 the, the best character mm -hmm. we need to put that on the best frame and and that is something that you do slowly you know you got you got there's there's no there's no golden egg in dogs you you need to you need to shape it and you need to say okay i'm going to add a little bit of this i'm going to add a little bit of that and then you're going through three years a few years of of testing your dogs and then you know what to deal with it and, you, and then you you start to search for a dog that can that can uh uh that, that can add some stuff on, 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 on the female that you're working with. And then you say, okay, I'm going to do this. And then you make a selection and you try it again. And sometimes you hit the wall and you say, oh, this, <laughs> this didn't work out, you know? And you need to start all over. You need to go back to scratch. scratch. And I, I think, I think that's, that, that what I say is, is uh, what, what the majority of, of dog people in the world are, are, uh, are looking at and, and, and facing in, in, uh, in, in the things that they try to achieve. For, for me, it is. It is. Um, uh, if a dog has doesn't have a, the character that, that we want, um, uh, then then he's he's, he's not. He's, it's not the one that you produce, and and that's 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 a thing that we need to be very very strict on. If, if, if we cannot accept that a dog, um, we, we cannot accept that a dog that doesn't have the qualities, uh, that doesn't have the main qualities. Uh, uh, that he should produce because that's that's what what breeding dogs is about breeding breeding the best to the best uh, is just good enough. That's that's the attitude that you need to have, and that's that's what we do. That's, right. that's, uh, um, my my son is, is starting up a pit bull kennel uh, with his girlfriend, and 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 they, they, well, they have a nice start. They, we accidentally uh, got hold of two very good dogs. Uh, but now we need to see we 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 put them together, and now we need to see how how the 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 next generation is going to do. We need to be critical about it and see see where we get. Um, uh, how how do you prepare them? Paul, so the question that you asked me is is how do you prepare them? Right. Uh, be tough on them. Just from the just moment. from like a puppy. Like let's say I get a puppy. I've never done wall climb in my life. And, yeah. uh, and, this, and this and this is for listeners to make make the sport even more competitive because it'd be more people wanting to get into it, but they don't know where to start. Like if I get this puppy, he's four months old and, you know, I take him to the vet and make sure he's got all this stuff. He's a healthy puppy. Uh, I get it from a good breeder. And what do I need to do to start getting this dog mentally ready and physically ready to to be to, to compete in this in this event 
it, for, for, it doesn't matter what sports you do. The, the basics of everything is, is road work. Road work, road work, road work. Um, right. Uh, get out, bring your dog, bond, bond. And you bond by playing with your dog. You, you bond by uh, giving him challenges, make him successful, make him feel the way that, that the dog, well, make, make the, the dog understand that when he is successful, what you want, it, what you want him to do, uh, start with, with, with little exercises and um, uh, make it playful. Give, give it a year of schooling. Which, which is the, 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 the most important thing. And I always say, um, uh, well, we, we're in Europe and we, we, we play football, not the way you, you guys play football in the, in the States. You know, we, you call it soccer, I believe. Um, uh, there's not one professional football player that started playing at the age of 18 years old. They all started as young as possible. And when they're young, they're very open to learn and, and, and open for schooling. And then you teach them and then they do. And then they must have the fun. And they, they get the fun with the success. And it doesn't matter what, if, if we're talking humans or we're talking horses or we're talking dogs. It's, it's all about the same. Uh, right. when, when, when the individual experiences success on the road it's taken, it would carry on and on the road. Now there's 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 a thing and which I said to uh, uh, one one of our one of our competitors uh, one of our competitors uh, back in the day the, the dog jumped up and he didn't make it. Now this this is a very important thing for everybody that starts in dogs. Just always remember that if your dog tries to jump or he tries to do a wall climb or whatever, it will give it his heart. That 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 part means that no matter what always be neutral you know effectively neutral when there is uh, no success and be extremely joyful at the moment that there is success when there is success when when you hit the wall climb and your dog grabs the dummy uh, for instance which could be the first time that he takes a one double step on the wall J just for instance and and he could do it two steps on the wall and he could grab uh, a dummy on two meter fifty be extremely happy on that. Now, don't push that too far. Don't push that too far because a lot of people give an expression as soon as they push it too far and the dog doesn't make it, that they their face show a certain and their voice shows a certain amount of, of disappointment. And the senses of a dog are so clear and so 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 accurate that they spot every form of disappointment in you. So it's always end with success, with the maximum possibility of success. So if a dog fails, for instance, on two, mate, two meter eighty, uh, bring it back to two, to where it was successful, and give it a few goes, and, and and praise it to heaven. That that part, just just that part in development of sport dogs is very important because um, uh, it doesn't matter how tough a character is, if it doesn't experience any success, it will never become aware of its possibilities. And that's 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 an, uh, a main thing that I, I would put across to everybody. And it doesn't matter what kind of sports you do; it doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's the same yeah, as, as yeah. When, when back in the day when you had when when they they gave a a few pimples a roll, and then when they went they wanted to be sure about the dog, they 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 rolled it so many times that eventually the dog was broken and they couldn't perform in the box anymore. So it's, it's, it's the same story. Right, it's the right. same story. That's, that's right. historically spoken, uh, by the way. So we talked about we talked about bonding. We talked about wall climb. What what bloodlines are you currently running with your staffers? It's, it's for the pedigree different. guys, some guys, some guys. I mean, we understand that everybody. Like, if you don't have pedigrees on your dogs, you know that's fine. You know, as long as everybody loves the animals, that's what the most important part. But for the the pedigree geeks that that love to dissect pedigrees and and are really into the bloodlines, what are some of the bloodlines that you're running and that we can see in your dogs? Paul, that's 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 a very difficult question to answer. Um, try to tr just try to imagine this for your listeners. That um, I have I have a female pregnant, 
and the puppies will be born somewhere early early February. And when you when you when you go back uh, six seven generations, all the dogs in the pedigree are my own. Just calculate that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, so, no, so that we, hey, that's commendable. That's commendable. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So when when but when I when I when I go back to my origins, um, I had a, I had a, a combination. When when uh, back in the day in the Netherlands, there was a, there was a group of people, and they they were really fond of of the 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 game Staffordshire, and 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 they 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 liked that a lot. They, they, they imported some dogs from Ireland, and 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 they did some other stuff. Uh, and 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 I got I got I got hold on a female uh, from those lines, uh, a brother to daughter mating, and uh, that was mated to another 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 line of inbreeding back to South African breeding, uh, which happened to be in the Netherlands, and and that was that was uh, a first dog. So you got uh, uh, the, the the two main dogs, the two main dogs. Back in the pedigree for for those that want to study lines, to me a Walpark whiskey mac. Uh, originally, that was that was uh, Walpark Whiskey Mac at Don Britain. It was it was an, an extremely extremely muscular dog. If uh, I, I only happened to see it on video, I, I didn't I didn't happen to see the dog live, but I saw the dog on on video. There was a v VHS <laughs> tape uh, back in the day. Um, uh, Utterly, utterly powerful and, and muscular dog. He he was sold to South Africa later on, and uh, uh, he, he became very important in our program. And another dog came from an Irish uh, gypsy camp, and the, the, the dog was uh, was called Cesar Secundas. And uh, uh, there was some controversy about the dog. Uh, anyway, uh, he, he appeared uh, three times in the pedigree of a foundation bitch, bitch and, uh, and and we took it we took it from there. And there, there, were, there were some things that I, that I, that I because I've, I've always been a dog trainer and I've, 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 always, I've always been involved in dog sports and, and, and I took these dogs out and, and I was working in, in, in a couple of issues. Um, um, the, the circulation in the bodies wasn't always the, the way I wanted to be. If, if you're in bull breeds, you wanted to breathe uh, easily. You, want, you wanted to have a lot of air. Uh, some of these dogs didn't have it. They, they, they just didn't have, have enough air. And I thought, well, everything that, that works around here in this country comes from the same origin. So I don't need to look there for better dogs. And, and what I did is, is I, 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 I went to the hottest place on, uh, on earth uh, in Australia. And uh, I, was, uh, I was asking for, uh, for a female that could, uh, that could run with uh, 50 degrees Celsius uh, all day, and and I found that one, and and the people who were so kind, willing to send me a, uh, sent me a, a puppy, and I added that to 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 the line, and and that way the dogs got got a lot better in in air, they, they got a lot better circulation, they also become a little bit lighter, which was which was very pleasant for me. Um, uh, have 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 he looks good uh, performs worse you know it's it's, it's you, you want him to be a little bit lighter you want him to be a little bit um uh, you want to, you want him to be a piece of bunchy wire and and and, and another another a, a shipwreck chain so so it's it's uh i, I got i got it from that and I, and I, and i mixed that with my best performing dog uh, from the origin and um from that moment on, I, I kept four lines going, and it's, it's not because because I, I, I thought that up. It, it, it was a, a guy from uh, from Germany uh, who wrote that in, in one of his books. His, his, his dog was Dr. Eberhard Trümler, and uh, uh, he, he wrote in his second book that that he was at, at a beagle kennel in in the north uh, northeast uh, Germany, and and he said uh, out out of four female lines, they bred about seven thousand dogs. Uh, so if you want to talk about inbreeding, that's what they did, and I, and I, I took that example and I, and 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 I, and I put that on on my staffers, and, and I, I'm loyal to that till today. Uh, I, I'm in very harsh selection. If, if a dog doesn't live up to to uh, to to the to the level we're at, then he doesn't he doesn't contribute uh, anything to to improve on 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 better standards. So he won't be used, and. Um, 
that, that's 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 what we do. That's what that's that's what we do. So in, in in a nutshell, about the lines. In a nutshell, that's this this it's thirty five years of hard work. You know, it's it's not it's not something that you that you say. I'm, I try to to make that as 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 simple and as easy possible for you to understand uh, how it worked. And uh, till today, we 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 have four different female lines running. Uh, I lost along along the process. I lost two lines that I need to uh, I needed to to replace with with with, with other lines. Uh, that, but that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Yeah, and and there are some some very nice hybrid breedings or uh, hybrid breedings that that that, that I follow. Uh, where they're mixing in uh, Staffords with pit bulls and and and, and vice versa, uh, okay. which is very very interesting to me because because I I think that um, the pedigree dog uh, um, the the pedigree dog is is um, how do you say it it's it's uh, it's a bit on a dead end um, it's, it's 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 a very extreme form of thinking. Um, it's it, it would be be a lot a lot smarter if people would think more in type than that they would think in in purity of breed. If you if you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you're saying you're probably going to get better dogs if if you don't breed for pedigree and purity. I I, I think I think I think that it that it expands the the the, the gene pool a lot. And and when you're into 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 a breed like mine, uh, there are there are two two major lines running, and I have the strongest con concentration of one, and the other one is, is is another line of dog, and everything that we have in the world are based on these on these two lines, today, so you you can understand that that uh, uh, is there a line called the M line? No, mine mine is called R. R, yeah. And what's the other you got, line? You, you got you got R lines and M lines, which are the 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 the, the most the most commons. There are a few somewhere in the world. There must be a few J lines left. Uh, uh, I, I would love to see them, but uh, I, I I didn't come across. Uh, uh, mine are R lines, and uh, and and then you got the M lines back to Brindle Mac, and 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 mine is going back to Rip Chester. Uh, 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 that, well, that's that's that, that that's it. And basically, that's that's very narrow. But on the other hand, if you if you if you look at the the huge amount of dogs that that, that are produced from it, it, it gives a certain a certain view on genetics with which uh, uh, a, a lot of you know, people that call themselves professor don't understand really. Um, uh, but 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 expanding the, the the gene pool by by having a, a better focus on type. We do a lot of dogs and a lot of breeds good. It's not it's not not specifically about mine, you know. If if I if I look at at, at a lot of other dogs, like for instance the pugs and and, and everything, it, it would it would be very very wise if if some some other dogs are are, are brought in that mix to to expand a little bit in their in in their genetic makeup. Uh, but that's 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 breeders' talk, you know. And for the moment, it's not possible. If you want to, if you want to breed pure dogs, uh, uh, like I do, if you want to want to breed Staffordshire Bull Terriers, uh, you, you need you need to stand with the system. Uh, if you don't want to, you need to step out of the system, and, and, and then then you, you you come in the, in, in in the circle of of pit bulls, and, and that's that basically is is from a breeding perspective uh, uh, a lot more interesting. A lot more interesting, but that's that's how it goes. Um, I, I, I somewhere in the, in the, in the history uh, in my history I, I made a choice for the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and I'm loyal to that. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll see where it ends. For the moment, I'm doing good. Got a lot of pit bulls in your area. Enough, enough. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. Oh, yeah. That's good. Not not as much, you know. We 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 don't have them as much as you have in the states. You 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 guys have a series have a lot. Um, yeah. we, we don't we don't have them uh, in in these numbers, but but I thought the the the, the bully XLs are doing uh, a lot of damage on the population. Uh, the, 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 you got the American bullies and you got the the XXL bullies and you got the pocket bullies and and everything. Uh, in, uh, in in my book, I I don't reckon them to be to be 
uh, pebbles. I, I think the bulldog crosses and 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 uh, uh, they're they're a different story, so to speak. Right, yeah. right. So do you think I, it could I, be? Could it be in the same? Because they call them pit bulls, you know. They're not. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day. I'm, no, yeah. At the end of the day. At the end of like the day. Like if we look at a news clip and let's say that somebody gets bit or or whatever because we see it all the time mm. they always say that it's a pit bull they don't like say that this dog has some type of mastiff or or bulldog or you know different type of breed inside of it you know i've been uh dealing with these dogs quite a quite a bit of years and i know that if you add even a little bit of anything to the american pit bull terrier breed that that we stand on, then it it changes the breed the breed completely. Yeah, yeah, uh, especially uh, pit, pit bulls. Pit bulls are, are uh, 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 they are very very much on their own, and they should they uh, when when you well actually when you when you breed pit bulls to Staffords or M American Staffordshire Terriers, and you breed them to bull terriers, or you breed um english bulldogs even to 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 terriers you're, you're going to have massive uh you're, you're going to have fantastic functional dogs um uh, but but you lose you lose um uh you lose the indoctrinational type of what people think that things should be and when you look at when you look at the the the, the, the xxls and, and 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 all the, the the certain types they are an exaggerations made by human fantasy and then they they, they give it the name pitbull they're not pitbulls they're not pitbulls they, they don't even act like pitbulls they're bulldog types and they're completely different they're, they're, they're more on the molosser side if you, if you understand what i would have tried to say with that but also in their character and also in the protective nature and also in their stuff they're completely different dogs completely different dogs it shouldn't be named pitbulls at all at all so everybody listen in in in, in the states and XXL is not an American pit bull terrier. That's a completely different story, and it should it should be be made very clear by everybody. The point is, the point is, and that's the problems that we face is that our truth is not uh, is not put forward by people that control media. They just they just want to want to they they use the stuff. An XXL bully doesn't sound like the pit bull terrier. So they use the pit bull terrier. Doesn't they don't even care about what dog it is. They, they they don't care. They just want to bring out the news because it sells, and that's 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 a, a very big challenge for us uh, in, in in these type of dogs to deal with. Um, uh, we we need we need to very firmly put across what 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 is an American pit bull terrier. What is an American Staffordshire terrier? What is uh, a Staffordshire bull terrier? And what are all the other breeds? You know, we, we, we are at the moment we're facing a ban in, in, in England for XXL bullies. Uh, here in the Netherlands, they're talking about it. And in a lot of other countries, they talk about banning banning these dogs. Um, the, 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 the problem with it is, is that there's a lot of uncontrolled breeding going on. And, and the uncontrolled breeding that's going on means that uh, you don't know what you get. And they, they mix everything to, to come to an exaggeration exaggerated ideal and that's a physical makeup and they, they, they don't pay any attention towards the the, the, the the character of 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 these dogs well when you're into pit bulls or when you're into to working staff it's like myself the main thing that you're interested in is the character and not the way they look you know if, if you have the most beautiful dog and it doesn't perform it's useless in our circles and that is some something completely different. The XXL bullies, you know, their dogs they can't perform. They can't perform. They 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 they, they live up to a, a fantasy world where people think that they are that they can perform, but they can't. And I, I've been I've been testing dogs for 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 17 years, 24/7. Uh, I I have a very clear view on that. Right, right. So we get one. And we get one from Quint Lent. What size are these animals going to be? What size? Because American pit bull terrier, like I, I've seen them all the way from 25 pounds up to 
65, 70 pounds. Yeah. What are the sizes of, of your dogs? For, for males, average, count on a 32 pounds dog. And uh, for, for, for a female, uh, about, about 28. About 28 on an average. On average. And then some are a little bit heavier and, and the others are a little bit lighter. Right. Uh, they, 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 the females stand about 15 inch at shoulders. And uh, the, the males uh, in between in between uh, 15 and 16 inch. Oh, so they, they have to be superior athletes to to be able to do what they do. How high are yeah. they getting up on the wall? How high? What, what, what would be considered a good jump? Let's say a two year old male. What would be considered a a, a, a decent? We, we, well, the, 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 the high jump that we do, the, the uh, high jump that we do, we, we do that a little bit different than on the wall. Um, the high jump that we do is that I have at this moment, I have a, a, a small 14 inch female. Uh, she's in centimeters, she's 36 and a half centimeters high. Um, uh, she jumps one, 185. Uh, one meters 85 centimeters high that is about 4.8 times her, her her body size nice so that's 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 what they're up to they can they can jump really really high really okay. high so that, that means that you you got you got a, a 14 inch dog and i'm 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 a uh I, th I think you call it six foot isn't it when when, when a person is, is 185 i think i think you, it's about it's about six foot but where, where you're from, uh, uh, and the dog jump can can clearly jump over your head. Okay, and that's the first jump. So when you when you when you when you put them on a, on a wall climb and they learn how to 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 walk on the board, they can they can get a little bit higher than that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Now that's cool. So what are you doing as far as uh, worming and uh, vaccinations? The, the the regular stuff basically. I, I uh, I'm I'm not that, that anti-vaccination uh, guy. I, I got I got a very good friend at at the vet, and um, she she always plans me in when 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 uh, something is necessary, and she has, just say just do the vaccinations and 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 cut the crap. Don't 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 do the titers. Don't do stuff. Do the vaccinations on time. So so she plans it in for me, and right. uh, I just appear with the dogs and 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 I do that. Uh, 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 we have we have some very good practices here in uh, in the Netherlands, and uh, uh, I follow their policy basically. Uh, that, that's what I do. I, I feed I feed my dogs raw food, so uh, I'm I'm not too keen on 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 uh, on worming. When, when you feed them raw food, the, the acid in the stomach is uh, stomach should be uh, 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 acid enough to 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 kill all all all, all worms and, and eggs. So, I, oh, so, I, I, so you I, think I, so you think uh being raw is preventing worms yeah absolutely oh, okay absolutely. So I, thought, I thought it was the other way around i thought worms would would uh come more with uh with raw diets yeah 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 that's that's what that's what a lot of people uh, to, uh, want, want, want to make believe you know the the the, the raw um uh, the the the, the the worming is is a thing that needs to be be bought, so they, they need to they need to bring up some foundation. And now when when you um, when you feed your dogs raw, the, the the stomach acid of a dog is the strongest acid in the world. There's, there isn't a strong a stronger acid than than what's in in a dog's stomach, and nothing can survive in that when you feed it proper raw food. So when you when you feed it kibble, for instance, the the acid in the stomach changes because uh, they, they need they need a different substance in that acid or in the in the in that stomach to to deal with with the kibble. Uh, when you feed them animals and I, I feed them I feed them raw, uh, not not meat. I, I feed them the whole animal. Uh, the the, do the the dogs need need a very strong strong acid in the stomach. No no worm can survive in that. No worm can survive in that. This is yeah, clear, as, clear as clear as it is. It's clear yeah. as yeah. The, 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 the the food the the food the food manufacturers don't don't want to to hear that of course. 
<laughs> they don't want to hear that. There's it's too, <laughs> too much money involved in it from, from their perspective, but I don't care. Uh, I'm, I'm a dope person and uh, not a businessman. So you think so you you like it better feeding uh, raw? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it more expensive? No, no, not really. Actually, it's it's um, uh, when you when you when you do that a little bit clever, uh, uh, it's it's co compared to 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 uh, a top class cable, uh, it's cheaper. It's cheaper, huh? Yes, yes. I, I feed ten dogs. Uh, and and I, I, feed, I feed them raw, and and it's cheaper. So and, and, and what would be a day? What would be a day's worth of feed for ten dogs? What would be a day's worth of feed? What 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 they eat? Yeah, okay. You got you got to prepare. You're you're getting ready to feed. What are you about to do? A A to Z. What are you about to do? Oh, I I I I I prefer to feed them in the evening in the winter time. Okay. Uh, because because I live in the Netherlands and I live in a very cold climate, uh, uh, and, and during the night I, I, I like it's my personal preferences. I don't even know it's, if it makes any difference, but it's just my own good feeling. Uh, when, when I feed them in the evening, that I know that that during the cold nights that their stomachs are filled, you know, and that they, they've got some 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 energy uh, in in the stomach to deal with with the cold. Uh, they sleep in, in small boxes filled with, with, with sheep fur uh, to keep them warm, and, 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 and that's, that's, that's uh, it's a certain amount of maintenance. But, uh, I feed them once a day. Uh, I, I don't do uh, a lot of, I don't make it a lot of difficult. Uh, I don't feed them very difficult. It's just once a day they got a proper meal. Um, each dog eats about 300. To 400 grams of, of uh, complete meat diet, which, which is an, an animal that, that that has been through the grinder and that's been uh, been packed for me um, about 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 that amount, and I always feed them. Uh, 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 oh, I don't know. I don't know the name in English. Uh, uh, a chicken carcass. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I feed them a chicken carcass and sometimes a few eggs on it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's good. That's good. Okay, this sheep fur. I can't. I can't let you get out of here without that. What's up with that sheep fur? I, I, I heard. I heard you say that, and then I was like, wow, that, that sounds cool. So let's talk about it. Yeah, I, I, I got. Um, you, you know, you know, you know the yards that you have in the states. Yeah, when, when you have the, 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 the barrels, and then and the dogs sleep in the barrels. Yeah. We have we have we have kennels, so we don't we don't have the dogs on chain, but we have them in kennels, and in the kennels they have a similar box, and the box is filled when when they shave the sheep. Uh, I collect I collect the fur, right, and I put I put it in the boxes, and the, it, it gives me a, a, a lot of advances uh, uh, in w with the dogs. Uh, one when they walk in the rain. Their their skin is so fat, all the water falls off, and and the Netherlands is one of the most moist countries in the world. Uh, so so we, we always have to deal with a lot of a lot of water. Um, okay. When uh, they it, it isolates them very good, and if if we have a minus ten or a minus fifteen, uh, they come they come out and they're warm. The dogs are warm. So I don't I don't need to put up put up any heating I don't need to put up anything else and it's very comfortable for them. Mm. It's, it's really something as if, if if you're in dogs and you're a little bit in a cold climate or or, or whatsoever, the, the 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 sheep hair is it's it's a it's a fantastic fantastic attribution because it, because it it uh, when when the dog the, the better the dog can keep his his body temperature warm the more of of the food that you give him can 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 be used for 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 physical performance. For, for the physical development and that's of course when you're in sports dogs you want your dogs to to uh, physically uh, develop as good as, as good as possible so so uh, uh, I, 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 start, I started doing this couple couple years back and and, and I, I won't I won't do anything I won't, won't do it any different anymore whenever. is it pretty is it pretty durable it, 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 I, I take um, uh, in 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 the in, in the boxes, 
uh, I, I, ch I change it uh, once once or twice in a year. Once or twice in a year. That so That's it it, it, it replenishes it. itself. Then it's it's kind of yeah. It's it's good. because it's it's very natural. And and first when you put your dogs in it, and then I also have have a, have a couple of white dogs. They, they 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 come out very yellow, and you think, oh no, that doesn't look too pretty. Um, but 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 then you you leave it like that, and over 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 time, they they come as as shiny and as as beautiful uh, as possible out of it. It's the same as when you when you when you go uh, to a dog show and you want to have your dog really shiny, take a little bit of that sheep fur and polish your dogs with it, and they and they, they 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 come shining like 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 beautiful, beautiful. Just a little bit of sheep fur. That's all you need. And not washed, not cleaned, not just from the sheep into 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 uh, into the crates. And it's a lot it's a lot cheaper than all these these artificial uh, uh, blankets that uh, that people use, because because you can get it for free. The farmers are happy that you can collect it. Yeah, there's a lot of people that uh, use like straw and different you know different things. I tried that straw, didn't like it. I tried straw, tried hay. I tried. Uh, uh, how do you say that? From from when you saw wood, uh, the 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 uh, uh, cedar and all that. Yeah, all that. I, I, I tried everything, and 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 it 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 didn't keep them warm. Right. It, keep, it kept them dry. That's 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 one thing. It kept them dry, but it, it didn't keep them warm. And then as I thought, uh, well, I, I, I actually the the, the uh, I, I was in Romania. And Romania has, has, has a, a trans-European uh, land climate, and in the winters it can get very cold. And, and when we were there, it, it wasn't really cold, but it was in, in the evening. And, and uh, my friend over there, he had a lot of sheep, and I saw a pile of of uh, wool, and I put my hand in it, and I thought, "Damn, this this is warm. This, this is warm." So the, the, it it uh, it, create, it it generates warmth within. So I thought, so if I put my dog in there, it's not going to have it cold. So I start trying that, and it, and it works tremendously. It works tremendously. I can recommend that to everybody, really. Just it's wool, wool. That's what it is, you know. But before any process, you take it off the sheep, you put it in your in in, in your dog box, and it works fine. It does the job. They won't get in there and get to growling around and tearing it up. No, no. I, sometimes I feed them lambs. You know the dad-born lambs. Uh huh. I pick them up with the farmer, and I feed it to the dogs. Then, you, then you can't get near to the dogs. I can, I can show you that when, when, when they eat that. Uh, but when you put it there, they just leave it, and, and they love it. They love it. They, they really make it, make, make it, make it comfortable for themselves. And they, they they don't do anything else. They don't eat it. They they don't chew on it. They they rip it apart. It's they just they, they're in it. They're fine. And while you give them when you give them a blanket, they they, they start ripping open the blanket and, and stuff like that. Right, right, exactly. I noticed that. So when, you when you, got, when you, uh, now go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, when you when you when you give them straw, the straw loses its volume overnight. So as soon as the straw loses its volume, it loses its isolation, and you need to put in back new new straw. You need to 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 work it up, and it's it's a lot of work. Yeah, I think you don't you, gotta, you don't you don't you don't have that with cheap fur. You're gonna teach you're gonna teach a lot of people some good stuff with that because that's definitely something I could see you know a lot of people trying because it sounds genius that you that you do that. Um, yeah. So it's, you it's, uh, no, no yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no ask your question. Well, now I was just changing that. I was changing the whole subject. I was gonna ask you about the who's the king and the queen of your yard, and explain oh. explain a little bit about them. Uh, in in uh, at the moment, or in or or in in, in the past thirty five years. Uh, at the moment, at the moment. Who's the king the and queen moment. of your yard? Oh. I need I need to think about that. As as Quinlan misbehaving. What's her, yeah, what's the name? 
That's her name, Quinland, misbehaving. Misbehaving. And it's 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 a white female, 38 centimeters at the withers. That that's 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 uh, just underneath 15 inch. Uh, uh, smash smashing little dog, smashing little dog. Yeah, it's, that's that's. Uh, we, we always make, make, make fun of it because, because the way she, way she acts is she always says, uh, uh, she always looks at my wife saying, you think you're married to him, but he's, he's, he's my guy. You know, it's, that's her attitude. She's, she's, uh, uh, she's so tenacious and so, so fast. And so, so what a spirit, lovely spirit to have around. How old is for she the females, she, she's now seven years old. Seven years old. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's 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 a bit difficult because she's the great granddaughter of of my my all time best. So it's there's 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 a thing that that, that plays part also. You know, it's a sensitivity. It's a bit sensitivity when you when you talk about what 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 is your best and what is your what is your your queen in the yard, what's your king in the yard. Um, explain, like, explain a little bit of her genealogy. Oh, I I bred her. Uh, She, she's she's inbred. Uh, her father is is a dog from from a very dear friend of mine. Uh, his kennel name is Prefix. Is, is Victory Stuffs, and he, he had a little female from me that he made champion uh, in the sports that we do. And he said, "I want I want to breed her. What we're going to do?" And I said, "Well, we're going we're going to use uh, DSA champion and winner Quinn and Connemara on her, which we did. And from that dog came Victory Stuffs. Uh, walk the line." And that is her father, and then we had we had we had um, uh, the female line. Um, uh, the, the the name of 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 her mother is Quinlan Sub Subliminal. Uh, I'm doing this out of my head. It's Quinlan Subliminal Thoughts, and Quinlan Subliminal Thoughts was a daughter from Quinlan Tullamore and Ricky Willis Gorge George, and um, uh, both are DSA champion and. Uh, Quinlan Tullamore, you in, in the sports that we do is a legend. She, she, she's the, the, the mother of Quinlan crew mistress. Um, she, she produced top, top, top winning, top winning stock. Uh, but she was, she was the best winner uh, of her time. Uh, she, the, the, back in the day, the, the tournaments were a little bit tougher than they are today. Uh, and she was the only one that, that could achieve everything um, uh, to the highest level. A, a, a tremendous female and this this is a great granddaughter uh, that we have and we all we're also we're already playing with a great great granddaughter at the moment that we, who's doing really well um that's that's the history that that, that that counts i've got i've got a few other very very nice females uh at the moment a very important female that we have is a dog that uh that came from sweden out of our own breeding uh, her name is uh, Buzz Gills. Uh, envy, envy is dangerous. Uh, Mora, we call her at home. She's, she's a very, very important girl because she's she's also the mother of the two kings that we have here, uh, who is Freddie and Fonzie, uh, of which um, uh, Freddie is is by far the best sporting dog. Uh, and Fonzie is by far the biggest asshole that you come across, <laughs> you know, but you're going to love him for it. Uh, it's, 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 it's that dog that gets you in trouble. It's that dog that always challenges you. It's, it's that dog that that's, uh, and you, you can take nothing for granted with him. He's, 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 he's an absolute character. So, yeah, the, the, those dogs are, are fantastic. So she's been a very, very good producing, producing female for us. So in, in that perspective, it's, it's very difficult. Um, uh, where where Harley, which is Quinlan, misbehaving, she 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 produces quite quite a few uh, psychopaths, which which are on the edge. So, and then that's a diff diff that's a, another difficult thing. People are becoming too soft nowadays in the Western world to deal with the with, with some of these characters. So, uh, uh, it it doesn't make any sense if you find them a good home for the ones that you you you, you can't you can't you can't use, and you find a good home for the for for those dogs, and they all come back. And you're overcrowded in your kennel in no time, you know. Uh, so that's that's always a little bit difficult. I, I have a pregnant now at the moment uh, with with a very good dog, uh, also from my breeding, uh, and and and, and I, I hope uh, I I manage to to find uh, people that can deal with with the ones that I don't need for myself. Yeah.
Yeah, so it's a lifetime. It's a lifetime work, mate. It's a lifetime work. Yeah. Man, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. I must say. I must say. Yeah, now nah, we we cooked. We cooked, man. This is. I think this is gonna come out pretty good. This is gonna come out pretty good. Okay, let's let's talk about some of the laws that you guys got over there. Yeah. Uh, as far as like chain laws and um you know kennel license or, or whatever or you, how many you can you have per residence and just different things because we go through uh you know our set of issues and stuff when it comes to these dogs uh in the states you know they're yeah. uh you know some some places you can't put them on chain some of them you got to have a certain um living arrangement you got to can only have so many what are some of the laws that are in the netherlands when you have them in kennels in the Netherlands, they must have a certain amount of space if you keep them in there all the time. So when you when you when your your dogs are not are not seeing any other form of daylight other than the kennels, uh, I, I believe they must have about three three uh, square meters at least. Uh, okay. That's what you're looking at. Uh, I I am I am one of those few fortunate men because the Netherlands is a very small country and it's utterly crowded. We we have. Um, uh, it, it takes two hours drive from one side to the other, uh, and 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 four hours from 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 north to to south, and mm -hmm. and in between uh, that that little space of, of driving, uh, you you find eighteen and a half million people. So space space is is, is a thing here. Uh, I am lucky to to have uh, a large a large area uh, in the countryside here, where where it's completely uh, decorated to 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 work my dogs. So um, uh, that that makes me very fortunate. Um, the, um, uh, the 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 kennel space as well. They are about three three to four square meters at least. Uh, but as soon as you take them out for a walk once a day, uh, everything everything drops. But then you must must tell the people. Well, you see, at least I walk my dog once once a day or something like that. But nobody can check on that. Uh, so so it's it's, ru it's rules to make rules. Uh, uh, I, I always think that when you when you when you and well that's that that's the, the best thing that you can tell to people. You, if you go to a breeder uh, for dogs or, or whatever, just look at the dogs. And when you see a lot of spots of them from lying still, you know that the dog is not having the the exercise that it should have. You know, so be 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 aware of that. And 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 we 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 dog people shouldn't want to have these spots on our dogs. We shouldn't be that lazy. It, it, uh, dog people need to be be out and active, you know. And and, and it's all right to say I, I need to spend as I, I need to spend as little time possible on feeding and housing my dogs because all of that time uh, I, I I need to exercise them. That's 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 the main thing. I need to I need to take them out. I need to put them in a the car. I'm going to the forest and, and stuff like that. You know, it's the same when 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 we we talked. Me me and my wife we went out for a five mile hike with with, with four dogs. Uh, uh, it's, it's 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 normal. It's normal. It's, it's what you need to do. It's what you need to do. So so the the, the housing is they're not they're not very strict rules. Uh, uh, actually, the, the the rules that 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 are there are laughable for a serious dog person to 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 even put them in a, in, in in accountability. It's 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 a uh, yeah. It's it's just it's just ridiculous actually. If if you if you would take if you if you would if I would see somebody that look after the dogs the way that the law subscribed, I think they would have a problem with me uh, personally, you know. So it's uh, that's that's how it goes with rules, rules, rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nah, it was a good one, man. It was a good one, man. I can't wait to to get this one out here. I I know some little spots I could bring it a little closer together and you know x out a couple little things you know saying this this was nice man so what, what, what you guys be doing uh you, are you trying to promote or like what what do you what do you got going on uh well we, we, uh, every year at at easter we we organize the dsa which is which is uh 11 weeks uh apart from from now uh that, that basically takes takes all our, our free time uh for me and, and and my whole family uh that's that's a sport contest 
uh, 10 different athletic disciplines are need to be done in two days and then we need we have a, a huge show with a judge from from south africa we need to fly him in he needs to be be, be, be looked after that's that's a, that's a main priority the dogs need to be in in in, in top shape to to perform i got a litter coming up in february that i need to take care of uh, uh, tomorrow i i work i have a, i have a dog training center I, I need to teach all day. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. I, I, I think over the years I trained about about almost eight eight thousand dogs, so quite oh, quite wow. a number. Yeah, quite a number. yeah. Yeah, now you got quite a resume, man. It's a bit a resume, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's it's, a, it's a life. Quint Lit Staffers, man. Appreciate you for getting with me man i look forward to hearing from you and and knowing that there's progress and and everything like i said i got a podcast buck city kennels live you know you can go check me out on on youtube uh you know we we do a lot of good things over there for the community and cool. uh, i definitely want to get people you know knowing about these other breeds and stuff uh tuesday i got a show and that's what we basically talk about all the other breeds uh staffers uh just you know any any breed you know any other breed we talk about bullies and merles colors and you know they got yeah. all those new fluffy dogs out and just to get those people all in the building it'd be like me plus five others and you know you're welcome to come too but we we have those discussions people talk about the origin of the stafford and the american pitbull terrier and the similarities and some how the bloodlines cross paths and you know it's very interesting conversation you know and and you know we just kicking it having a good time so keep keep, keep 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 me informed about it and and if if you have any questions about stuff or so whatever the sports that we do just 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 let me know and we'll dial in and we'll have we'll have a chat about it yes definitely definitely yeah i appreciate you man for your time all right you're welcome mate you're welcome Say bye bye, Cece. Cece, say bye bye. 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 Bye b